Hello guys, so today we are gonna be rating my 2023 concert outfits. Let me tell you, there were some really bad ones in there and I didn't realize it at the time. I have been wanting to do this video since the year started because I did go to a good amount of concerts last year. I was recently looking through the pictures of all of them and I did do a video like this, I think last year on like all the concert outfits I've worn. That was a fun video, so I knew I wanted to do it again for this year and hopefully I go to enough concerts this year to do it again next year but um so far I haven't gone to any have my iPad let's pull up the pics guys because there's some really bad ones in here that I'm not proud of I loved every single concert I went to such great memories I vlogged all of them too you know it's all about the experience for me though I do feel like I need to look good and feel good to be able to enjoy the day in the year of 2023 I went to seven concerts I made a folder of all the outfits and let's just go ahead and start rating them girl do I have a lot to say okay cute i'm an ipad kid i'm sorry so the first concert i went to was uh p1 harmony and i remember it was the day before i started school and the next day i had to wake up early to go to class which was really annoying but so for this one i still had my blue hair i did a ponytail i did a side part i've been really into the side part recently it makes me feel like a woman like a senora that's my calling everything's from urban outfitters surprise surprise i got this butterfly asymmetrical sheer long sleeve from urban outfitters and then i got this like fringe knit sweater that i also got from urban outfitters and then i'm wearing a black mini skirt that i also got from urban outfitters with black tights and my doc martin boots oh my god i just noticed that huge ring on my pinky that's like a frog ring that fernanda gave me it was like toys like kid toys and i was like can i have one and she gave me the little frog <laughs> but it's hella standing out i didn't even notice it just basing it off the outfit i definitely think i look good okay i started the year off strong don't usually wear a lot of black but recently i have been more into it i guess i think it's because like my natural black hair is coming out so i just feel like it combines a little more because when i did have my blue hair it was a little hard to combine certain colors because i didn't want to look too vibrant like i wanted to look like just like casual but it's obviously hard to look casual or like normal with bright blue hair. I like how like I chose everything to be black, just a blue top matching my blue hair. I remember this was a good hair day. I remember because I felt good. And when you feel good, it's because your hair was good. I rated the P1 Harmony an 8.5 out of 10. I think this is definitely one of my top favorites. Yeah, definitely depending on the artist, I try to match my outfit to their aesthetic and i think they're during this time they had some like blue going on or maybe not i don't even remember guys first concert done now this is where this is where the disappointment comes in and i feel like people might be shocked about this or maybe not maybe you guys knew this was a bad outfit and you guys just didn't tell me you guys didn't warn me about it you guys were fake for that you guys really let me walk out like that and didn't tell me twisted bro twisted the second concert i went to was nct dream in seattle <laughs> girl okay listen i even made a pre packing video for this concert because i traveled to seattle for dream and i was even like figuring out my outfit in that video like in my packing video and okay i think i had like a great idea i had a great starting point but i don't think i had the right facilities <laughs> body wise i guess and just what was in my closet like i had a reference picture and it looked really great on the model i was like oh it's gonna look good on me like but it just didn't and i don't know why it didn't obviously there's a lot of factors that go into it like i was waiting in line in the freaking cold all morning like i got there around 10 in the morning and we were literally just freezing our butts off and it was just like a messy day so obviously you're not gonna look your best feel your best when you're in line it was such a good concert though don't get me wrong i miss mark so bad in the dreamies like they're going on tour i will be there i will be there let's just get to the outfit so this girl i follow on instagram was selling her clothes and she was selling this green corduroy button-up i love the button-up it's a really cute green corduroy jacket i obviously knew i was gonna wear green like i will never not wear green to an nct show no question like i will but i wasn't really sure if i wanted to do all green or just like a hint of green or do like green and pink for like watermelon for mark for this one i matched with fernanda so we got these shirts from redbubble i got the 
I Love My Boyfriend t-shirt of Mark and she got one of Renjun. It was a matching concert and this is the first time we've ever done this for a concert. Like we have completely different aesthetics. Like me and Fernanda dress completely different. It was a little hard for me to style a t-shirt. I wouldn't usually wear a t-shirt to a concert and I struggle styling a t-shirt in general and the only times i would wear a t-shirt is if i'm at home or if i want a more like baggy like streetwear kind of look either way i like i don't really like lead towards that kind of aesthetic so i was already struggling a little bit with the fit of the t-shirt so what i did with the shirt is i cut it so you could see like my collarbone so it's like a little off the shoulder which did help with the boxy feel to it but because i was wearing the green jacket you couldn't really tell and obviously i wasn't going to take off the green jacket because it was like negative one two seven degrees i wore the green jacket i love my boyfriend t-shirt and this pink score and then i wore leg warmers which was my first time wearing leg warmers with my doc martens and also y'all i was on my period and that was like the worst oh my god i literally every time i moved i was like oh my period passed felt like very icky overall uh, which definitely added to me not liking this outfit probably i do like the idea i like the concept i just wouldn't wear this again i think for the moment it was cute there's like a huge like spectrum when it comes to like k-pop stands at a k-pop concert like either they're super like this is a runway new york fashion week or i love my boyfriend t-shirt or wearing like a onesie you know what i mean like there's two different types i think i was like in the middle like i was like i wanted to be cute but also like a little like funny like oh my boyfriend haha -ha. what i would change to this would be i would not add leg warmers what shoes would i wear though i wouldn't wear the docks because that's like the only black in there. Maybe I don't like the skirt. I don't like how the skirt fit me either. Like I felt like I was wearing a huge diaper. So I think it was a good memory, you know, like matching with your BFF. Like, you know, it was a long time coming. I rated this a 4.5 out of 10. So not even halfway, y'all. Like for some reason, I just don't like this outfit. I can't seem, every time I look at it, I'm like, <sighs> I also, I don't think I was having a good hair day either. My hair looked really frizzy. There's just too much color going on. I, with my blue hair, green jacket, pink, black, white, like that's just a little too much for me. I also photoshopped the um, NCT Dream billboard. Yeah, I photoshopped it in. Cause the one before was like some burger thing and I was like, no. This is definitely the lowest of the rankings, I think. So it only gets better from here. Okay, moving on to the next concert. I saw Yoongi in Oakland. And this one I actually do really like. I knew I wanted to wear some type of orange because I had seen a lot of fans wearing orange. I guess Yoongi's favorite fruit is orange. I have no idea. I tried asking people about it and they were like, yeah, I don't really know what's up with the orange thing. I was like, oh, okay. I had this orange skirt and then I wore this baby doll top that exposes like your stomach a little bit. Knee high socks, white knee high socks and my Nike platform and my orange bagu bag. So we got the matching over here. This one I rated a nine out of 10 guys. Like I'm sorry, but I think this one... And yeah, my hair was really blue at this time too. Um, but I don't think it contrasted in a bad way. Like, I don't think it was too much color or anything. I think it was just like, just right. I added this like silver star hairpin on my side part, which I thought was really cute too. And then, yeah, the BTS ARMY bong light stick. Is it bong? Or that's just Neo bong? AT's bong? Is that right? Yeah, nine out of 10. I remember feeling really good. The one thing though is about the shirt, I kept like pulling it up because I didn't want to show too much boob, but I also didn't want to show too much like stomach, which was the only downside about this top. I wore this top on my first day of school too and girl, I was like flashing everyone. Like it was not the vibe. I think we did good and it was a fun concert. It was too freaking good. Like our view was bad. Like we only saw like the back of Yoongi. Regardless, it was the most emotional I've been at a concert. History was definitely made in Yoongi's tour. The next artist I saw was Ruel in San Francisco with Fernanda. This one I obviously did a little more casual, not as out there, I guess, compared to like a K-pop concert. Cause we know, we know that's a runway. But for this one, I still really like what I wore and I would definitely wear this again too. Like it was pretty casual, I'd say. I wore this faux leather jacket that I got from Urban, this white button up baby doll top also from Urban, Levi mini skirt that I got from Depop, knee high socks with my Adidas, my black Adidas. And then I wore this chunky black heart choker necklace that I also got from Urban Outfitters. I do really like how I looked. That was my first time wearing the mini skirt and it was one of my favorite little mini skirts ever that I've gotten. I like the combination of it. The only thing is that the shirt for some reason fit me like really tight or it was just a little wrinkly here. Maybe I needed to like iron it or something. My hair, I had recently 
dyed it like a dark midnight, which is like my favorite kind of blue that I want my hair to be. Obviously, if your hair is feeling good, you're gonna feel good. It was a good show. And we probably got harassed because it was San Francisco. But we took some cute outdoor night pics after the concert with my digital Canon G7X. It was our first time taking pictures with a digital camera and like not the iPhone. But I love how they came out, bro. Like, oh my God. When I look back at the pictures, I'm like, that's not me. Who is that? Cause I want to date her. Girl, I miss her. Where are you? I miss you. I miss my blue hair, dude. So for this outfit, I rated a nine out of 10, the same rating that I did for Yoongi's. Okay, the next concert I went to was KCON. This one was crazy, y'all. So for this one, it was a little hard to decide what to wear because it is a convention. So there's like multiple K-pop artists performing. Obviously, Taeyong was gonna be there and wavy. If the Neos are there, trust I will wear green. A sprout, like I will wear green, like no doubt about it. So I knew I was gonna wear green. I still obviously went for Ive, Taemin, and all the other artists that were there. But off the bat, I'm like, I need to wear green. I need to show support. Girl, I just turned you on. But for this one, I wanted to make it a goal to not shop at Urban or any like in-store retail store for my items. Like I wanted to get like original, unique, thrifted items, which is a little hard, okay? Both the top and the skirt I got from Depop and they came in on time, so everything was good. But the shoes did not come in on time, okay? I ordered some like Mary Jane square toe shoes from Etsy and they didn't come in on time. They were actually delivered, I think the day of or the day after. So I was not a huge fan of the shoes. I had to wear these like platform sandals that I got from Forever 21, which I love. It didn't do what it needed to do. Cause I wanted to do like a coquette, Mary Jane doll, mini skirt, bow kind of theme and it just didn't happen. So the bottom half looks like I'm gonna go fishing. And then the top half looks like, girl, I don't even know what it looks like. Like I'm going to a club or something, but like not. Like I'm going to a festival. Girl, like I'm going to see the Neos. I'm going to Neo City. Despite the shoes, I don't think it looks super bad. From now on, every time I see NCT 127, Dream or Wavy, I'm gonna wear the little green sprout on my head. But I wore the same black choker necklace that I wore for Ruel that I got from Urban Outfitters. And the top, it's like an embroidered, like stretchy material tank top. And it was a little long, but I didn't wanna cut it because when I was younger, I would crop a lot of my tops, which now I regret because I'm like, girl, like I don't wanna have everything cropped, you know? like. So I ended up tying it on the back, but I hate when I have to tie shirts on the back because then that huge like clunk is just like on my back. So critiques, ugly, I'm kidding. The only critique I have is the shoes. I don't think the shoes go very well. It's like a little mixture. Like I, like, where are you going? Where are you going? If I didn't know this was for like a concert, I'd be like, are you gonna go to the beach or are you gonna go to like a rave? And I'm thinking maybe even the socks might have not been good. They have circles on it and like little bows, but I th honestly think it would have looked better with the shoes that I had in mind. The thing with the top though, is that I don't like super cleavage tops. And if I have to constantly like pull up my shirt or I just like hate bras, I just like hate this. Okay, I don't like it. So every time I have to like fix it throughout the day, like I get super pissed and it just like ruins my day. And also had to tie it on the back. I know very super not important details, but it affected. It affected me. I think I do the all green look very well. And for this one, I rated an 8.5 out of 10. So it's definitely up there on my list. I'm definitely curious to see, <laughs> girl, if I see, if, no, I'm gonna. When I see NCT Dream, oh my God, like I wanna go to at least two stops, okay? This is my time where I'm gonna tour with them. You know those fans that tour basically with the artists cause like they go to every stop. Like I don't wanna do every stop. I feel like they're not even gonna come to the Bay so I'm gonna have to travel regardless. I definitely wanna try different concert outfit ideas. Like I for sure wanna do all green for one, but for another one, I wanna try like something new or something different. The second to last concert I went to was Zyker's. This was my first time seeing Zykers and also my first time like learning who they were and for most of the concerts uh, that I go to it's because Fernanda really loves them so she puts me on so this was one of the cases where she put me on Zykers like I said I try to match the aesthetic of the group either that's like a certain concept that they did or just the overall image that I get when I think of that specific group. So for this one, it was a little hard cause I didn't know much about them or I didn't know like their concept and stuff. I do know they reminded me a little bit of Zykers obviously cause they were in the same like show, I guess. So I knew it had to be something like 
a little funky, a little weird, a little like, what's the word? A little camp. So for this one, this one's actually one of my top favorites. I wore that same fuzzy knit fringe sweater cardigan that I wore to P1 Harmony. I did a tube top, an asymmetrical black tube top. And then these shorts, everything's from Urban Outfitters, the top, the sweater, and the shorts. But the shorts are like a plaid blue, white, like school shorts. They look like a private school uniform. And then I wore um, some white socks and my Adidas and I did my hair in a slick bag and some sunglasses. I think for this one, I definitely experimented. I think this one's a different look compared to my other looks. It's not super over the top, but it's not super casual either and it's for sure weird i think for sure the weird part are the shorts like it's it's that pattern like really sticks out to you but yeah i do think that the shorts fit me a little stiff like i look a lot flatter than usual with them so i was feeling a little not girly like i felt a lot more tomboyish but i was also super comfortable and that one i rated a 9.5 which is actually my top rated one so far some people might not like it or some people would i don't know it's definitely like in the middle it's like what are you wearing but also like oh interesting and then the last concert i went to was woods i'm kind of in the middle with it like i don't know if i like it i don't know what i would change i don't know what i was trying to achieve I don't know what look I was going for. But Woods, again, was one of those artists that Fernanda introduced me to and that she told me to go with. So obviously I'm not gonna pass up an opportunity to see someone live. I wore this fuzzy faux fur vest that I thrifted at a Goodwill. I'm wearing this long sleeve that I got from Brandy Melville. The shorts and then the boots are vagabond. Even though I felt like I was gonna go gardening, like I felt like I was gonna go like plant a tree. I do really like the knee-high boots and shorts combination. I'm definitely gonna do that more in the future. So I do like that, but the only thing that's tripping me up is like the top part. Like I like the idea of the fuzzy vest, but I don't think I executed it very well. I also don't like the long sleeve that I paired it with just because I've, I've worn that long sleeve a lot and I just don't like it. And then my hair wasn't cooperating either. I did like a half up, half down hairdo, which I feel like I should have just done a slick back. Um, looking at the pictures, my hair looks literally fine, but I just don't like it. Ew, ew, I can literally feel the texture of my hair and I just, it makes me ick. Like even before this video, like my hair was just acting up. I was like, you don't need to do all that. Like just relax. Dude, but okay, imagine this same outfit, but with the tube top, the asymmetrical tube. Oh. It's just too good. Like, I think with me, sometimes I have to show skin here, whether that's like showing my collarbones or showing like my arms, I guess. And so when I'm a little more covered up, like in this area, I feel very like hunchback and just not good. Cause I already have a super bad posture that if I'm wearing a bunch of layers, I just look even more like it's giving Hunchback of Notre Dame. Like it's not looking good, you know? My shirt either has to be cropped or I have to wear something like low-waisted or mid-waisted or else I feel like it hides my figure. And since I'm overall super flat in a lot of areas uh, that should not be flat, I feel like I have to compensate by like showing that part of the body a lot more. But that's just like my personal like critiques on the way I dress. Obviously everyone's different. Yeah, this was one of them where um, I didn't like like the top portion of the outfit and the fuzzy vest just made me feel a lot more like clunky. The woods, I rated an eight out of 10. Still pretty up there. Definitely not the worst, but definitely not the best either. I rated all the outfits from best to worst and this is the list. And I feel like this is not according to the ratings I did them in. For seven, the last one I did NCT Dream that's at the bottom of the list then it's Woods then it's KCON then it's Ruel then Yoongi then Zykers and then P1 Harmony I voted P1 Harmony to be the first one and obviously NCT Dream out of the question worst one boo kick her out the ones in the middle are like a little interchangeable but I think I like that list I like the ranking. Yeah, that is basically it for this 2023 concert fit rating. I love to critique my fashion. I always appreciate it when people come up to me and are like, oh my God, I love your fashion. Like your sense of style is really good. Sometimes like that like surprises me because I see certain outfits and I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure about that? But overall, I had a lot of fun filming this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest and to follow my Depop because I'll be selling a few of my clothes on there as well. Let me know which outfit was your favorite or which one you thought was the worst. Be honest. It's okay, you can break my heart. I won't cry. My back hurts. I will see you guys in my next video. Stay safe and goodbye.